Okay, so this is the next day. I'm um, going to start the suspension assembly process. Before I install the struts or the tie rod in, I'm going to replace a crappy old uh, sway bar end link that's like cracked and squished and just plain old. And replace it with a polyurethane sway bar end link on both sides. Uh, this should help stiff up the uh, handling on the car. Uh, remove all the dust, uh, remove some of the sloppiness that feels. Got but before I install this, I'm going to um, grease it up a little bit, and I got to install it loosely because this is a um, you have to torque it down once there's a load on the suspension. You cannot; it's a bad idea to talk torque it down while the suspension is in in the air because that will that will um, it will not be loaded and it will cause binding issues. But um, so let me first get the grease and then I'll lubricate this. Uh, don't you just love it? When you, you lose some video footage, especially when it's your fault, well, my fault, well, yeah, that sucks. So anyway, um, I I installed the new um, bushings, um, end links, I mean, for the sway bar, uh, and I greased it up, and I noticed that the, the uh, mounts, sway bar mounts, are uh, binding, so I took them out and re-greased them and put that back in loosely. I'm going to do final tightening. Want to have the uh, weight on the front suspension. So next thing I'm gonna do, install the front struts. I have an, I'm gonna install the wheel bearing uh, wheel um, spindle later. But for, uh, it looks great. Um, the paint job is kind of is kind of scuffed in some places, as dirt embedded and other issues. But um, I should have done more prep work. But I do I do its job and it looks cool. So um. Let me just grab the materials to install it and throw it back in. Okay, strut is installed. Feels nice. Ignore the clack, I pulled it too far. But, um, yeah, next I'll install the in outer tie rod. I'm gonna do alignment off camera, and then I'm gonna install the wheel bearing. So, what I'm tr gonna do is I'm trying to install the, um, I already installed the um, tie rod in off camera. I'm gonna do the alignment um, off camera, but for now, um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the wheel um, wheel spindle and brake um, brake disc. I already repacked it with grease. Um, it's simply just thread it on and then just tighten hand tighten it so there will be no play, no axial play. And and then that's it. Just start put back the brakes and then there you go. Oh, I almost forgot dust shield. Let me just get started now. Okay, so I got the um, spindle back on. Turns nicely. Oop, what the? Turns nicely now. It jammed on something, but it's fine now. Maybe it's a cotter pin. I don't know. Oh well. But it turns nicely now. So I gotta put the other side off camera and the brakes off camera. So I'll just show the final um, engine start. Oh yeah, the new ignition coil came in in the mail. So I'm going to install that off camera.
this is a few days later. Um, it still um, still doesn't run right. Yeah. The new shocks are really nice. And I love them. It's It drives like go-kart again. And I'm just amazed how little body roll it has. Although now it's painfully obvious that the rear shocks are kind of bad. But not really. But I'm still going to replace the rear shocks. Alright, so rear shocks. Then I'm going to do full brake uh, upgrade. I'm going to go with that uh, stainless steel lines. And uh, because this is old lines, I wouldn't use since this is an old car, might as well replace all the rubber brake lines with stainless steel. So, at least it has brand new brake lines. Uh, what else? And then I'll get full bushings replacement on this car. And then I'll start thinking about engine power. But, and also, um, right now it's set in factory, um, factory default tie rod length. So, uh, surprisingly it drives straight. And it drives actually pretty good, but I'm going to do a proper alignment later because the car's going to be sitting. And the reason why it's sitting is it's still misfiring. I do not know why it's misfiring, but um, actually do know why. I think I do know why it's misfiring. I already replaced all the ignition system components, such as the ignition coil, the wiring, rotor, cap, spark plugs. I actually put in new spark plugs when I first got the um, when I first built the engine. Um, and I, I even pull out the spark plugs and check them and some of them look fouled and after replacing everything in the ignition component and then also doing an ECU diagnosis ECU diagnosis says it's fine but this is an 80s car it has a pretty dumb ECU it's smart and dumb at the same time but uh, this leads me to believe that the 102 fuel injectors is clogged or something or stuck open and so next up next episode what I get what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the upper intake manifold and take out the fuel rail and I guess I'm gonna start cleaning all the injectors and then hopefully the misfire goes away but um at least in Besides the misfiring, it seems to run smooth. So, also one more thing, my new fuel pressure center stopped working properly. The oil pressure light is stuck off now. Oil pressure gauge works perfectly, but oil pressure light is stuck off. And I even verified with my multimeter, uh, and I even showed out the wiring, and then that the light bulb on the oil pressure light works fine. It's just that the center broke. So I have to get that hour made. So stiff now. <laughs> this is logical projects. <sighs> so much stuff to do.